Welcome to my teeny tiny baby pantry. We're gonna go through it together, get it a little more organized, and just see what's even in here. Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, thank you for being here. I'm going to go through my pantry. It is teeny tiny. You could call it a broom closet if you want, but it actually works really well for us in our kitchen. I am so grateful for it. If we didn't have it, yeah, I would definitely miss it. So while it is kind of narrow here with wise, it actually does go back pretty deep. Let's see. It's actually over three feet deep. It is 39 inches. We're gonna go through it, maybe pull some things out that don't really need to be there or don't really need to be in this like prime location right in the middle, right where I'm grabbing. I think some things might make their way down to the basement, we'll see. So we're gonna go through it together and get it organized. All right, so one of the first things I think I can take out that I just have to like shuffle around every time I take out. I have like some serving platters and things in here. I have these chargers, which are just, you know, the decorative plate that you put under a plate for like a holiday or something. I just, I really don't hardly ever use them and it does not deserve that prime real estate right there. I think this is something I'm gonna move down to the basement because if I did want to set a pretty table, I would have them, but they don't need to be in my everyday space. So I also have these two platters from our dish set. We have a Courier Knives, um, I think it's a few different patterns that we have, but it's all the blue and white. And I really don't ever use them. They came with the set and the entire set, I think I paid like $15 for it and it was like a ton of dishes and bowls and cups and everything. I'm trying to see what that would look like if I put it on a wall. Because I honestly don't think I've ever served with this one. I have served off of this one. So much so that I actually chipped um, a piece off of it. And I pretty strategically glued it back on. But I like the shape of this one better than this one. So I'm just looking at the wall here. Like maybe I could just hang it. Then I could still technically use them if I wanted them. And then they would get them out of the out of the pantry here. We'll see, that's an option. All right, I'm debating putting this one in the basement because again, I would really only use this during the fall. If an occasion came up sometime between now and the fall that I need it, I can always just go down to the basement to get it. So I think I'm gonna put this down with the chargers. And then lastly, I have these three, a really large square one that we do use, especially when we grill and we use those when we're serving food outside. All right, so that looks better already. And then I just have two white serving bowls. And honestly, I'm like debating whether I really need two of them. I don't really even know why I have two. Why do I have this second one? I think my sister wasn't keeping it, so I said, oh, I'll take it. But then I already have this white one. But again, it's kind of like for parties. Sometimes we'll put things in them. And they stack really nicely, so I think I will keep both. And then I have some oobleck that my daughter made at school. It's like that cornstarch and water kind of slime type thing. I don't want it in the pantry. I don't want it in my house, but she just brought it home. So we'll play with it for a little while longer, and then eventually it kind of like dries up and then it'll be done. All right, and then I have a bunch of paper goods left over from... I don't know, Christmas. Oh, the baby shower. I think I bought these for a baby shower. So I guess I should make an effort to use them so that they don't just kind of like get dirty and dusty sitting in there. So there we go. We got bowls and we got plates. So this wire little drawer system is actually something that I swapped out just a couple months ago and it used to be in my daughter's bedroom, but I really liked the idea of having drawers in here and really maximizing the depth and this I found at a yard sale for five dollars 
probably 10 years ago. So you can definitely find these really inexpensively. I think also Ikea sells them and maybe maybe the container store. So the way we use this top drawer is for kids snacks and like kids packing lunches really. We try not to really pull from this too much when we're home, but it's more so like little things that are easy for them to pack their own lunches and then I did just get these bins at Aldi. I think that they're really cute and I like the shape of them and then in the back I have more snacks kind of tucked away so that not everything is out all the time and I can kind of restock as these things get eaten up. And then also like peanut butter and almond butter again for them to make their own sandwiches you know and have a little bit more independence and then the middle drawer down is just the, this one and the one in the bottom are just all like cooking and baking kind of overflow things some canned things some backup items breadcrumbs things like that i have some extra powdered sugar in the back there and then this big one at the bottom i also have restock items for the canisters that we keep on our countertops so i have flour an extra bag of flour and then rice and oats that i refill from and then lots of cans i do just kind of have like a general sense of what's in here mostly tomatoes and beans for the most part and then like backup peanut butter and jelly backup taco shells, things like that. So I don't feel like I need to have everything facing up. I feel like I can still get a good, you know, I can rifle just a bit and know what I have in here. And then on the side here, I do like to tuck some paper shopping bags because I like to use them for donations or anytime I want to. If like a glass breaks, you know, so a glass item, I like to wrap it in um, you know, paper before I put it in the trash can. So moving up onto this shelf, I have space for larger snack items and bags and things like that because behind it is just serving platters. And like I mentioned, we don't use them a ton and I have like some large Tupperwares that I don't use a whole lot. So again, try to work through like open snacks before we open a new one. So just making them really accessible helps to keep that system going. And then in this um, basket, I have just plastic shopping bags again for donations or just, you know, in case you need a plastic thing that you can just totally throw away. We have a big basket of K-Cups, which are definitely something that I use a lot and refill from, and I love this little thrifted basket. I think it's super cute. And we have a pencil sharpener. We did install an outlet when we moved into this house and kind of renovated this pantry a little bit so that we could keep our microwave and then something like a pencil sharpener. It's just really handy for us. And then up here, we just kind of have some larger items we do like to do hot chocolate on Friday nights and then sometimes on the weekends they'll have hot chocolate. Fluff is kind of a leftover thing from I don't even know why we bought that like back in the fall. We're still kind of working through it and then things like brownie mix. I like to just keep on hand for quick desserts if we're going somewhere and I just want to bring something really easy and then again back up kind of food things that I probably will use more often so that's why I kind of put them up here versus on the bottom but we just have pastas and some lentils and I also keep like other grains in here like the farro and the barley I'll keep in there and then in the back I put all of those disposable and I have some candy actually in here that my husband got for Christmas so just wanted to empty out that bag so I figured that was a good little spot to kind of hide them away and then above our microwave we actually I keep I have this black tray and then a bunch of these kind of like disposable foil items so that if I want to bring something to somebody or you know bring something where I don't want to have to worry about taking the container back I just have these on hand and then at the very top we don't access a ton so this bag is a cooler bag for the summertime so I do use it a lot in the summer but now not so much. This is actually some infant formula that my son doesn't take but it's kind of just like an emergency out of the way thing that should we need it it's up there and then we have our floor cleaner that I use to refill our floor mop here which hangs on the shelf which is really really convenient. We did put in just this little peg shelf with two pegs so that we could hang our mop and our broom and then the extra you know mop pads and then all of our aprons. I have an apron and then all three kids have aprons as well and those kind of hang there and they kind of tuck off to the side of that little wire shelf at the bottom. 
So like I mentioned, we do also keep some food storage in other places in the kitchen, like these canisters on the counter, like I mentioned, with flour, sugar, rice, and oats. This is something that's both functional and just kind of cute decor for the kitchen, but more so functional because it's storing these items here, they're easy to get to, and it keeps these out of that little tiny pantry. And then here above our coffee maker, I actually changed things up a little bit. We used to have our dishes here and our bowls, but we actually move those out. So we just have mugs and the K cups for the coffee maker are here and my son. And then in this section where our dishes were, I now have honey for tea and other things. And then this little container of kind of dried fruits and nuts, also some chia seeds, just because I don't know, we had the empty space here and where these used to be, are now where our dishes are. So here in our island in the kitchen, this top large drawer used to function more as a pantry for us where we would keep those nuts and dried fruits and peanut butter and jelly and, not jelly, peanut butter and honey and things like that. But now we actually have it more as our everyday dishes and glassware and lunch packing things. Again, trying to encourage a little independence with the kids so that they can get their own cups of water and you know so on and so forth. So you can definitely be creative if you have a very small pantry. You can use drawers and cabinets and whatever else you can, any spare space in your kitchen to make use for food storage. And that is what we used to do in here, but we're trying to switch things up a little bit for a new season of life. So even though this is a smaller pantry, I really do try to just maximize what I have. I don't over buy and then feel like I have nowhere to put anything. I really use this space as my limiting container, if you will, so that I only buy and stock what will fit in here. I don't go to Costco and buy a ton of oversized things because I really would have nowhere to put it. I try to just shop for what we will use up reasonably within about two weeks. And then of course we do have some overflow, some stockpile, if you will. I feel like this is a good amount of inventory that I can manage and feel like we are actually eating through it and I don't really have an issue of things expiring. I just use up what we have and then we replace it and I don't try to overfill this space. I just try to work within it. All right, so that is it for this pantry refresh. I feel so much better about how it is functioning right now and the ease of getting to things and the kids being able to get to things and just really maximizing that, you know, valuable real estate kind of right in the center, right at hand's reach that, you know, I'm not storing things that I'm really never using or using like once a year. Just really making this really work well for our family. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are also a small pantry uh, home dweller like I am, I hope that this is encouraging to you guys. Maybe you got a little couple ideas to maximize that space for yourself. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.